What's up, y'all? It's Erica here, and speaking out on something because, yep, that's right. I'm talking about motherfucking masks, y'all. I and I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. I went out to the stores again today. Um, of course, not playing along with the political agenda. I'm not wearing a mask, okay? Um, that's commonplace. I took my kid with me. My kid wasn't wearing a mask. And when I say kid, I mean grown adult, man, teenager. Um, I'm not taking my little kids out to the store just because I simply have that option with dads, grandmas, whatever. We don't bring our young ones to the store. And I don't shame people that have no choice but to bring their little kids to the store. Um, I was a single mom for many years, and there's just no other option. So I understand that when people do have to. So I realized I'm in a place of privilege speaking that I don't have to bring my kids to the store. However, you know... Nobody ever says anything to me. Everybody is completely friendly, just how they've always been. Now, mind you, I'm, I only go like pretty much to the places I need to go in my own town. Um, I don't know what it's like everywhere, but I have never once been asked to put on a mask, mentioned anything about it. In fact, when people see me, they smile. At least I think they're smiling. Sometimes I can think, I think their eyes are smiling. Maybe they're giving me a frown. And I'd never know because the mask is on, right? But um, this is a issue. And the issue is that so many of the masses truly, truly believes that them wearing a mask is them being good citizens to really help other people. And that's where the problems come in for me. Because I understand that most people who are going along with this agenda, they are completely brainwashed, okay? And this is why I believe that shaming them, calling them sheep, I don't wanna take that approach anymore um, because it's honestly, it's very sad. And I see this and I am so thankful that I had already been through um, the awakening and that I can recognize this for what it is. Um, but like, let's take for example, these people who are driving around in cars by themselves, wearing a mask, wearing gloves. Like this is, yeah, I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's not funny. It's, it's honestly, it's very sad. Um, and the fact that these people have been so brainwashed and so fear mongered that they truly, truly believe that they're like doing their part. They're being a hero by masking up, gloving up in their own presence. And I've also saw some other very disturbing scenes today while I was out. Um, I've, I saw two young kids in carts. You can never really tell a kid's age if I had to guess, maybe two or under. And you know how like little kids that have issues oftentimes wear the thick glasses that kind of go around. Um, you could tell this child, um, you know, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to speculate. Let's just say this child was very young and possibly looked like they were not having an easy time. They were masked um like tied around the child's head because you could see that it was like a thing. I mean, you guys, we have to speak up as a society 
as an individual, okay, and I can tell you, if you just get out of the fear and go around to your stores like you used to, sans the mask, okay, sans the gloves, no one's going to say anything to you. And, and if they do, like, what exactly are you afraid of? Or, I mean, we need to get to the very root bottom of this. And let's, let's get to the point that this is a political hoax, okay? I'm not saying that this virus isn't real. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just with any sickness, the flu, AIDS, chicken pox, what have you, people, you know, people are going to catch what they're going to catch. If you are going to catch it, wearing a mask, it's not to stop you from catching it, okay? They want you to think that so that you're muzzling yourself. What does this do? What does this do to your uh, mental and emotional psyche when you wear a mask i mean quite frankly you know it keeps you quiet people are not people aren't laughing and joking they're not they're not singing they're not they're not conversating they're walking around like silenced zombies okay and this is this is like what this evil agenda once from the humans I'm not okay with this I am here representing the light I am here saying to all humans out there that this practice really must be stopped it really must be stopped and quite simply all it takes is using your own common sense to go places like normal. Okay, now I hear there are some places getting pretty crazy about it. Well, maybe it's time to make a decision not to support places that do that. You know, maybe we don't wanna support facilities that are playing into this agenda um, because if there's like five grocery stores around town, I'm going to walk into the grocery store that greets me with a friendly hello and doesn't treat me different. Um, in fact, people, people look and if anything, they just smile or say hi. Um, and I, I did inspire one person to kind of lower their mask a little bit because if you don't allow the fear to control you, you can't be controlled. And that's all they want to do, okay? And when I say they, I mean the deep state, the democratic evil agenda, whoever you want to reference it to, all the way up to the Rothschilds, the Illuminati. It's, it's basically evil. So there's a war going on, and it's a war between dark and light, good and evil, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now, the people who are doing these seriously evil, evil things to children, manufacturing children, um, you know what they're doing. I don't need to repeat the heinous things that they are doing to these small bodies, these victims, these souls, okay? Um, you know what they're doing. If you don't know by now, if you're literally watching my page and you're watching my video and you haven't watched certain documentaries, I really think you need to go do it. I really think you need to go Google Pizzagate. I really think you need to um, just try to climb out of your cognitive dissonance and actually see what's going on because this is a tool to divide people this is a control tactic to divide families, to divide friends. I can see it happening within my own family, um, you know, and I have to back away. I have to back away from conversations like that because even though 
people who really truly feel that they're doing something good by wearing the mask um they're not and honestly they're playing more into that and i am very upfront that i will not have my children muzzled um when i do delegate my parenting responsibilities to a dad or a grandma um that's simply what it is delegation okay and you know people have got to be on the same page here people really need to be on the same page here if i take my children out and we're outside i'm not muzzling them um not even if we were to go somewhere inside honestly today's like what 97 degrees out it's fucking hot okay so already the humidity in the air makes it to where some people aren't having the easiest time breathing you add a piece of fabric even if it's one of those thin pieces of fabric over your airway i mean this is absolutely not how humans were built and how humans were meant to live the fear-based agenda has everyone um really freaking out here about oh my gosh there's a virus in the air there's a virus between people now i choose not to see that i choose not to play into what they want they want me to be afraid they want me to shut the fuck up <laughs> sorry i wasn't put on earth to shut the fuck up okay i was put on earth to fucking wake the fuck up Okay, mission accomplished. So now I'm trying to get others on board because the only way that we're going to take our great country of America back is by refusing to play into their agenda and go along with it. Okay, and what's sad is the numbers really speak. And it seems to me like the ones who have awoken to this are very more few than those who blindly comply well school systems government system yeah they don't like people like me okay we're what you call a glitch in the matrix we're not here to go along smoothly with your bullshit we're here to fucking gum up the works put a kink in that shit and fucking dismantle it Okay, so what can you do as an individual? Simply live your life, okay? Live your life, keep the mask in your back pocket if you feel like you really need to, but I promise you, if you start walking around like normal, you know, without a mask on, I think you will be pleasantly surprised to see that people aren't gonna harass you and if they do start getting close to you act like you're about to start coughing because that'll scare them right off right no i'm just kidding don't ever cough on anyone that's just plain rude <sighs> but literally can we can we stop this um what what does it take what's it gonna take um for people to protect their children from this agenda because we have a voice okay we have a th open throat chakra here we're able to speak we're able to communicate freely um if you are watching my video and you're just hating everything i say i really invite you to just go within examine yourself why are you hating the idea of freedom? Why are you hating the idea of free airways? I don't get it. Now I know, I know, I know you've been brainwashed. You've been controlled probably your entire life on the planet by watching the television, eating the GMOs, drinking the tap water. This is all designed to deteriorate the natural functioning of your body. But at some point, 
there's going to be a push come to shove where you say, okay, I can either keep going along with this or I can take the steps necessary to start backtracking their bullshit, okay? Um, as for what they're doing, shooting the red laser beams at people's third eyes, this is conditioning. This is the social conditioning that they want everyone to feel is, is, is normal. They're going along with it, okay? This is traumatizing people. If they don't believe they're being traumatized yet, just wait a few years. Um, I, don't even, I don't even like for my kids to be a witness to the insanity that is what's going on. But it's, this, is, this is a thing. People are walking around in masks because they really believe that this is right. So somebody has got to get through. Somebody has got to be that person or, or event that will spark something in these people to just start thinking for themselves, maybe. You know, um, if, if common sense doesn't tell you that restricting your breathing or restricting your child's breathing or living in constant fear of germs um, is complete bullshit, I don't know. I hate, I hate arguing with people. I don't like to be mean. I don't like to call people names. So I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to say is that I hope when you see me out, I hope when you see other people out that it's an example of light, that it's an example of, um, you know, non-compliance with evil, first of all. And as our wonderful President Trump stated earlier, not wearing a mask is a peaceful protest, okay? So instead of getting mad at your friends, your neighbors, and your family, start getting mad at the people who are telling you to get mad at your friends, neighbors, and family because United we stand, divided we fall. It's time to unmuzzle yourself, speak up for what's right, and let's get things shaken, okay? New Earth is here. These timelines, they're done. We're not going along with this anymore. So get on the bandwagon. If you need support, if you're freaking out, message me, okay? Look at my page. I post plenty of stuff. There's tons of memes out there. The memes are great because, you know, other people can kind of just get you little bits and pieces of the information that may spark you on where to go to do your deeper research. Don't take my word for it. Like I said, ask yourself, is this right? You know? And try to try to sift through whether... The thoughts in your brain are actually just fear programs or if they're really you. Because I think if you actually just settled into some quiet time, got inside yourself, you would realize these thoughts, they might not even be yours. They're probably just fear programs that were put into you. And it's up to you from your soul, from your heart to dismantle the fear programs altogether because we're ascending and... That kind of shit just isn't going to be going on anymore. And it's going to be really, really uncomfortable for a lot of people who um, take this as a, as, a, as a big shock. But, like, it's not funny anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's funny, kind of, when you see people. I get it. It's kind of funny, like, <laughs> seeing people alone in their car. But it, it's just not funny. When you, when you really kind of, like, analyze that, you're like, wow. This person is really so enraptured with fear that they're taking these precautions and they're and they're feeling like they are doing something good. People are passing out. 
people are going to fucking pass out and wreck cars. I mean, this is just really getting out of control here. And I say this in the August heat, 97 degrees, you know, just be careful out there. Of course, there's exceptions to every rule. Of course, maybe there are a very few um, legitimate reasons why someone would wear a mask. Maybe entering an emergency room, you know what I mean? Where, where do people go to be sick? Um, a doctor's office. Maybe you would want to wear a mask in there because clearly everyone in there is sick and has germs, right? So use some discretion, of course. Um, but that could have been a thing long ago. That really could have been a thing long ago and not for the corona, just simply for anything, for the common cold, for whatever it is that brings someone into a doctor's office to be seen. Um, you know? Do things to boost your immune system. Get you some vitamin C. Get you some CBD. Get you some vitamin D. Go outside. Take some walks every day. Maybe walk around in the woods getting into that fresh air. If you have been forced into wearing a mask for your job, really evaluate whether or not you want to remain at that job. Or if you have been so indoctrinated that your survival counts on the job, make sure that you are getting breaks for fresh air. Make sure that you are getting into nature. I mean, that could be a whole nother video about what they are doing to these essential workers. This is not cool, okay? Listen, everyone. I'm about to end this video. I hope this helped someone. If you feel that anyone else could benefit from this information, Feel free to like and share, you know, um, if you are freaking out about what's going on and you need support, reach out to me. There's several others. Follow some hashtags, get into some groups and start like vibrating with a different caliber of people instead of um, maybe what's going on. Stop watching the TV. Stop watching the news that's only owned by the same fucking person, the same family, the same agenda. They're gonna show you the same freaking thing on every channel. They make it seem like you have a choice in what you watch, but in all honesty, it's all the same thing. So try to be a little bit more mindful of that. Get outside, you know? Um, I have been on this natural, product and natural food thing for quite some time and it did take me a little while of a transition to kind of get used to that but little things you can do every day to try to get your own immune system back get your own soul back get your own mind back I mean the steps really need to be taken so all right sending everyone love sending everyone good cheer and whatever. All right. Bye.